welcome back to the final lesson or lesson six of Python beginning. So today we're going to learn commenting uh, just so we can add that to our projects. We're going to review what we've learned in these past five lessons and we're going to finish up our projects. So uh, if you're not at the live lessons, you probably won't be doing these parts. But yeah, we still want to finish up our projects. So commenting is the only new thing today. So basically, as your code gets more complex, you won't really be able to tell what it's doing just by looking at it. So it's important to write these comments so that you or someone else who's trying to fix or add to your code can do it easily without having to like go through and like uh, deconstruct every part of your code. And basically, since we want a comment just to be for humans, we don't want our computer to read it because it won't be in code, so it won't know what to do with it. And basically, the way we get our computers to ignore those lines is adding this hashtag symbol. So anything you put after hashtag symbol on that line will be grayed out like this, and it will be just ignored by the computer. So here, if you have hashtag creates a list, hashtag for loop going through the list, and hashtag prints each element of the list, even if you don't know really what how to make a list or what a for loop is, now you kind of have some idea of uh, what the code does. So now you can see how helpful that could be if you're working on more complex code where you don't know everything exactly what it does. And then here, multi-line. So if you want to add a big comment where we're maybe explaining what the purpose of the code is or maybe some instructions, you can add triple quotations at the beginning and at the end and anything in between those, even if it's on a different line, is going to be commented out and ignored. So it just ignores this whole big chunk. So you could have this and then see how this print statement, because it's after the triple quotes, isn't ignored. It has color. So even if you put, see here, use the print function, even if you put like uh, valid code in a comment, it still will ignore it. So absolutely anything you put in there is ignored. So number one, how would you comment? Number two, do you need semicolons after any line of code? Three, what is the result of print three divided by parentheses by the sum of four plus five minus two? Uh, name three kinds of variables, the main ones we learned about, and how would you get a random number from a range? So these are questions from all throughout our lessons, so if you don't know any of them, you can go back to that lesson. So this we just learned, this is lesson probably two, this is lesson three, four, and five. Okay, so we also have uh, two more. What's the index of the first value? So if you want the first thing in a list, how would you get it? And what is PEMDAS? That's actually kind of related to question three. So once you've answered those review questions, now we're going to be finishing up our number guessing game. So at this point, you should have added most of the things we talked about. If you haven't, you can just go back to the lessons. At the very end of the lessons is where I always talk about uh, how to incorporate what you learned into the project. So at this point, you should have most of that added, uh, or you could pause and go add that right now. And the rest of this should just be getting any bugs uh, ironed out. Uh, you could ask during office hours how to fix those. And also, uh, just to make your game like less boring and basic, you should add your own creative touch. So like you should make uh, the text like have some character to it uh, instead of just pick a number, wrong number, correct number, stuff like that. That's a little boring. Uh, and you could also maybe add like lives, like a way to gain back lives and stuff like that. So this is actually not important for you guys because this isn't live. But yeah, once you finish this part, that is the end of Python beginning. I hope you guys had some fun and learn some Python.